The first season of Twisted Metal recently hit our screens, and I think it's safe to say that it surprised a lot of people, including myself. I just didn't expect it to be as good as what it was. Video games don't really have the best track record when it comes to being transferred over to another medium such as TV and film, but this one did it pretty well. With it very much seeming as though a season 2 was set up at the end of the finale, I thought it would be worth taking a look at all that was out there along with giving my theories and predictions on what I think could happen next. Here is Twisted Metal Season 2 Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Oh, and if you enjoy this video then feel free to hit subscribe. Thanks. The Release Date The main question that's on everybody's mind is when is there going to be a Season 2? And is there actually going to be a Season 2? Well, the answer to that is, we just don't know yet. Peacock hasn't actually confirmed whether or not another season is going to be going ahead. Usually a platform takes between a couple of weeks to a month before confirming if a new season of a show is going to be greenlit. What they tend to look at is how many hours of watch time the entirety of the show has had, the completion rate of the show, how many people that started it ultimately went on to finish it, and something that I think is becoming more and more important in the modern world is if it transcended the medium that it was on. For example, a lot of the most successful shows in the past few months and year have been shows that have tapped into a societal culture and have been spoken about across a wide variety of different platforms, almost coming along with the trend, meaning that it's consumed in many different ways and draws more eyes to it than usual. This is a new thing that has been happening and I think it will continue to follow suit. With this show being based on the video game series and getting a good initial response from its viewers, that's a massive positive. However, there are a few negatives that it has going against it, and that is the fact that Peacock is one of the smaller streaming platforms with around 25 million users. And it's been reported that Peacock TV is losing money every quarter at the moment, so that's something that could ultimately mean that the show might not get picked up again, as I imagine existing IP is something that's not the cheapest thing to keep a hold of. And with a cast that was made up of well-known names, including an Avenger, it's probably not the cheapest show to make. However, to frame it in a more positive light, it does have the opportunity to make the show the face of the platform, because realistically, I can't really name another well-known Peacock show other than Poker Face. I personally think that the show will get greenlit because it has a lot of potential within it. If we make a prediction based on the fact that it's going to be getting a green light, then that brings us to the timeline. With the strikes that are taking place at the moment, it means that the show would not be able to be worked on or even written even if the creators wanted to, so that's a massive deciding factor on the release date, as the project will have no movement whatsoever. So taking all of that into consideration, I would genuinely predict that we may not get another season of the show until early 2025, unless the issues get resolved and it starts immediately, which would then only push it to a 2024 release date. That's taking into account the writing, production, post-production, and marketing of it. So it's safe to say that we've got a little while to wait until we get the next installment. The Story Whilst it seemed as though the first season of the show delivered a compelling story that had humour embedded within it and also a lot of action, it very much feels like season 2 of the show is going to be more true to the video game and contain a lot more action that involves the vehicles. The first season of the show had elements from many of the different games included, which allowed the universe to feel so fleshed out and familiar, so I feel that's something that's going to be happening again in the next season. I feel there's going to be two main things that we're going to see. I think the tournament is going to obviously be one of the main focuses, and I imagine that's going to be the season finale, due to the fact that only one person can survive. So I'd be surprised if they killed everybody off straight away, but I imagine we'll be introduced to the different contestants throughout the episodes. But another main element that we're going to be watching unfold is the quest of reuniting Dollface with John Doe, her brother. The story of the show was very much centered around the fact that John Doe had no recollection of his past, his family, or anything like that. So by Dollface entering the picture, it will again allow us to see deeper into John Doe's life before the fall and the collapse of civilization as we knew it. Maybe we'll even be following the show from Dollface's perspective. I think that would be pretty cool if we had an episode or two that was focused on her. With John Doe and Quiet both realizing that they genuinely cared for each other like they'd never cared for anybody else before, I think we'll see them also do their best to find their way to each other whilst battling the restrictions in place that keep them apart. I would also say that with Sweet Tooth surviving, there's definitely room to explore more of what happened to him in his past life. 
We saw him up until the point where he broke out of the hospital, but I'd love to see how he first navigated the fall, how he came to adopt the clown mask, and how he quite literally, single-handedly took over the entirety of Las Vegas. There are many different directions that the second season of the show could go in, and I can't wait to see which route it decides to go down. The cast. The cast was something that was a main reason as to why this show was so good. Will Arnett as Sweet Tooth with the physicality of Samoa Joe, Anthony Mackie as John Doe, Stephanie Beatrice as Quiet, and Thomas Hayden Church as Agent Cole. Along with all of the supporting characters, they made up a really strong core cast that brought the characters to life on the screen and allowed the story to be told through their perspective. With there being a few deaths in this first season of the show, I think it's safe to say who won't be returning and who will. So in terms of who we'll most likely see on our screens again, I think it's safe to assume that Anthony Mackie will be returning as John Doe, as he's pretty much the face of the show. Stephanie Beatrice will be returning as Quiet, and Neve Campbell will most likely be returning as the COO, Raven. With the tournament being a thing that's going to be taking place in the next season, that means we'll most likely see Jamie Newman return as Watts along with Amber. Plus, we'll also see the Preacher back on our screens as we'll follow him surviving what happened at the base of the Holy Ones. I hope that we'll actually get to see Calypso this time too, rather than just hearing the voice. In terms of characters that have the potential of returning, with the mid credit scene being a thing, we saw that Sweet Tooth was actually alive and survived the incident that occurred on the track. Don't ask me how. But that would mean that Samoa Joe will be returning as his physical on-screen form, and Will Arnett will most likely return as the voice of Sweet Tooth. With Quiet having such a strong relationship with her brother and him being a presence that's always around her, I feel we could end up seeing Richard Cabrell returning as her brother in the form of flashbacks again. And finally, Stu has the potential to return if Sweet Tooth didn't kill him in the mid credit scene. The cast and characters that most likely won't be returning to the show because they were killed off in the first season is Thomas Hayden Church as Agent Stone. Whilst there are theories out there that he may not have ended things for himself, I would lean more towards the idea that he won't be returning just purely down to the fact that his story very much felt as though it was over, and there was nothing more that he could give or develop. Unless he randomly arrives in the tournament, which I wouldn't be opposed to, but there would probably be some major plot holes. In terms of new characters, it looks like there's going to be many that make appearances on screen. However, one that will most likely get the main focus is going to be Dollface and also Axel, so I'm looking forward to seeing what other new characters will arrive in the next season of the show. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about Season 2 of Twisted Metal. I'm sure more information will be released as time goes on. But for now, there's Season 1 to watch and the video games to play through to get that fix. So, there you have it. Twisted Metal Season 2, everything we know. What do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.